The woman placed her pajamas over the pillow, then took out a 33-foot long knife and started stabbing it repeatedly. Next, she inserted a water pump into her arm and drained 3,000 milliliters of fresh blood, pouring all of it beneath the couch. Finally, she let a few drops drip at the door. To make the scene more realistic, she scattered some more blood around the room. With everything ready, the voyeur happened to sneak into her house, stepping right on a drop of blood at the entrance. Turning his head, he saw the woman, covered in blood, lying on the couch. The voyeur froze in shock, utterly terrified. If you don't want her to target you, make sure you follow the video. Too scared to call the police, Jim quickly turned and ran out of the room. After he left, Bella rushed to take pictures of herself, posing as if she had died violently. She then pulled out a strand of hair, disguising it to look like the voyeur's short hair, placed it next to the blood, and snapped a few more pictures. Finally, she wiped the scene clean with a cloth, pretending to be the murderer cleaning up the crime scene afterward. Cleverly, she left a drop of blood under the couch, as if the killer had missed it in the chaos. The staged crime scene, meant to frame someone for murder, was complete. Meanwhile, Jim, who had fled the room, immediately texted the tenant, saying he was bringing a client to check out the property. This way, he could ensure the client would be the first to discover the scene. But to his shock, when Jim walked in, the sight before him left him utterly confused. Not only was there no body on the couch, but there wasn't a single drop of blood anywhere. Panicking, he rushed to the bedroom and searched every corner of the house.